<laughs> There's no second day, There's honey. No second day, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, the entitlement here is through the roof, right? Like. What's up guys, today we're gonna be reacting to a very entitled trick on TikTok which says that the first date always has to be dinner. No drinks, no walks, and I'm gonna give you my two cents on whether she's right or she's just being an entitled princess. All right, so let's jump right into the video. So this got 3.5 million views on her TikTok, which I think is pretty fucking nuts. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. Second, I have an espresso machine at home, works fabulous. We're not doing drinks either. You're gonna try to get me drunk and take me back home. No, we are doing dinner. You're gonna pick me up. We're gonna come to the restaurant. We're gonna see your table manners. We're gonna see what you order. We're gonna see, do you hold your chopsticks correctly? We're just gonna, you know, study you a bit. Okay, so dinner it is. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass on my part. No, I mean like, this chick is pretty, but she's so fucking entitled and so condescending too. Like, it's gonna be dinner, okay? Uh, yeah, we're not going for a walk and we're not doing drinks because you're gonna like, you know, try to like use that as a way to like roofing me. Like, what the actual fuck? Uh, you can also, her logic is, well, you know, I could uh, I could take myself for a walk and I have an espresso machine at home, which is why coffee doesn't work. Okay, you could also make yourself dinner. That logic makes no sense. All these things are things that you can do on your own. The purpose is not the activity, but it's to get to know the other person. Uh, so yeah, I mean, just her level of entitlement is through the roof. And again, this is something I see as very problematic amongst feminists is they love the double standard when it suits them, but they hate it when it doesn't, right? And there's definitely several double standards between men and women. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but again, like they love it when it suits them like this. So women have fought for equality for a very long time. They want equal pay, equal rights, blah, 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 right? Uh, so you have the equal rights. Why would then at this point, why does the guy have to always pay? Like, why not split? Now look, when I go on dates, I do pay, right? It's just simply, I don't give a shit. It's not a lot of money to me. I'd rather just pay instead of like taking a chance of pissing the girl off, right? To make a, you know, a symbolic gesture, right? Uh, however, I really hated when the girl's entitled. It's such a massive turnoff. And if I was, you know, if a chick was like this level of condescending, like if I'm texting a girl and she's like, yeah, so we're not gonna do a walk, Alex. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to your romantic balcony. You're gonna take me to the dinner, okay? I'll be like, yeah, it's gonna be a pass no matter how hard it is. Because again, it's not the fact that I have to pay. I don't give a shit about that. It's the entitlement. It's like, you feel like you're entitled to my resources, which I think is absurd. Uh, you know, for example, this is, and like it blows my mind because when a guy, you know, is entitled to sex, girls always come out against it. Like, well, just because I went on a date with you doesn't mean you're entitled to my body, which is fair. Like, I don't think, you know, uh, a guy's entitled to sex just because, you know, the girl goes on a date with him. But in the same token, if we're following this train of logic, then the girl's not entitled to free dinners or his resources. Like that just makes no sense to me at all. Uh, let's take a look to the next video. What to answer to a guy who pays on a first date but says the next one's on you? There's no <laughs> second date, There's honey. No second date, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, the entitlement here is through the roof, right? Like, what is wrong if you go on a date, you're just getting to know each other, he pays for the first date, and he wants you to return the gesture. Why does the guy have to put in all the effort? That again makes no sense because women at this point in time for the last 20, 30 years are equal. They have the same rights, right? Why should they get all the privileges and the guy get none of the privileges? Uh, but I think the real issue here, the only reason her and other girls like her are able to act like this is because there's so many men who are willing to go along with it. There's so many simps out there who are gonna be like, oh yeah, no problem, I'll, I'll take you for dinner and I'll buy you a handbag and I'll do whatever you want, right? If all the guys stop simping, and actually had some self-respect and we're like, yeah, no, like, no thank you, lady. I don't care how hot you are. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, put up with your level of entitlement. Then the chicks would not be able to get away with this because they would see that, you know, their attitude is turning guys off. But again, because guys are so simpy, they will literally put up with anything, even stuff way worse than this. Like, the girl could be like, you're a piece of shit and you have a small dick and the guys would be like, oh yeah, no problem, right? Again, guys are simping so hard. So I think as men, if you're watching this video and you're like, fuck this shit, uh, the 
the first step is not simping. Now again, everyone who watches Playing With Fire is obviously not a simp, right? But if I can reach more men and like men stop simping, like that's the first step to changing this behavior. Because again, the reason girls are able to get away with this level of entitlement is because there's men who are willing to go along with it. And I wanna be clear about something. This is not all women. This is not the majority of women. This is a small percentage of women. Most women would look at this video and be like, oh, that's, that's weird, right? Like when I first went out with Natty, she offered to pay for her half. Now look, I was like, don't worry about it, I'll still pay it, right? But the gesture is what I appreciate. That's why she's my girlfriend. I mean, there's also many other reasons, but again, it's stuff like that. Like a men like it when the girl puts in the effort too. It shouldn't be all men, right? Again, if as a woman, you're watching this video, you're saying, it's gross when a guy feels that he's entitled to my body uh, just because I went, went on a date with him, then why is it okay for you to be entitled to his resources, right, just because uh, you went on a date with him, right? You can either have one, uh, you, you can't have one without the other. You either have both or you have none. And so this leads me to the last thing. Should you go on a dinner date with a girl on the first date? And the answer is largely no. There's several reasons for, uh, for this. The first one is just very pragmatic. Food makes people sleepy, so your chance of having a good time afterwards are lower because she's gonna get sleepier. The second one, it's not really a good environment, right? It's a lot of effort, you're putting a lot of energy in. A lot of chicks suck, and granted, a lot of dudes suck too. A lot of people suck in general, so it's just not the best. Like for me, I will never ever do dinner dates on the first date. Now look, if I'm seeing a girl, we like each other, I'll happily go out to dinner with her. That's not a problem at all. Me and Natty go out for dinner fairly often. But on the first date, fuck that. The first date is either gonna be, you know, drinks on my romantic balcony, drinks at a bar, maybe a walk or something like that. And again, it's not about, oh, can you do this on my own or not? All these things can be done solo. It's about getting to know the other person and seeing if they vibe with you. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show us that you're not a simp by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Consider sharing this with a friend because again, the more attention this gets, maybe more men will stop being so simpy. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.